So in solids, we have electrons, and of course, we have the atoms, which are mostly the core, which are the protons and then the electrons surrounding them. Uh, the electrons in solid live in these energy eigenstates. Um, and if you look at the charge density, normally without a charge density wave, it's normally the charge density is uniform if it's a metal. Um, but then uh, you can, in certain circumstances, if you uh, go to low temperatures, it might be energetically favorable for the charge to uh, change such that there's more charge, less charge, more charge, less charge. So it's a spatially inhomogeneous uh, density of charge. Uh, that's called a charge density wave. So, so it's, uh, and that has lower energy than a uniform uh, charge density. Um, and um, dimensionality, uh, essentially, you can have a 3D CDW system. You can have a two-dimensional charge density wave system. Uh, most charge density waves are uh, made because there's strong coupling between the electrons and uh, phonons. Phonons are lattice vibrations. So whenever you have strong coupling like that, you get a charge density wave. Yeah, and that's what, and the energy of the system gets lowered.